Hi, I'm Berna Welch, and I have bred Pebwin Golden Retrievers for almost 40 years now. And um, if you'd like to know how I got started in the breed, it's a little different than most people. I was actively showing and breeding uh, miniature schnauzers and standard schnauzers. I loved both breeds very much. Um, going to a lot of dog shows and I was young and newly married and I really thought that it would be a fun activity for both my husband and I. So I kind of made a deal with him and I said, gee, Peter, if you wanna go to shows with me, we'll get you a dog that you would really like. And he thought about it for a few minutes and he said, well, I'd like a golden retriever. And I said, ew. But the deal was made, and so we did a little research, and we found a nice litter, studied up on my standard, went and looked at the girls that were available, and chose one, and brought her home. Again, I want to reiterate, I didn't want her. I, it was Peter's deal. He was going to do the whole deal. And um, within 24 to 48 hours, I was totally smitten. And uh, I guess you could say the rest is history because I took the ball and ran with that. And um, Peter still doesn't go to dog shows. So, you know, lesson learned. That was my introduction. And I'm very grateful that <laughs> he wanted the golden because I never ever would have chosen a golden. And now here we are, many champions, many outstanding sires and dams later, um, breeder owner handled national specialty win and um, two time Westminster best of breed, along with many, many specialty wins um, along the way. And just the love of the breed, we, um, we just adore them. They're wonderful dogs for every reason. Um, I've tried to keep my pedigrees um, available for any reason for someone to own a golden, whether they want a hunting dog, they want an obedience dog, an agility dog. Um, I think the trainability and function of the golden retriever really needs to be preserved. And I've tried to do that. So I look forward to our Zoom and I hope you all have some great questions for me. Thank you. Very good. Hi, everybody. <laughs> my name's Tanya Struble, and I'm really stepping outside of my box here. But um, I guess to explain how I got started in Goldens is I didn't come from a dog family. I came or a family that was involved in showing. I came from um, a little girl who was had a neighbor next door that she showed her dogs and you thought, oh gosh, this looks like it could be a lot of fun. I wasn't raised in dogs. I had, um, growing up, we had a basset hound that came from the pound and I would go to the fun matches with my friend and I'd go to the dog shows with my friend and it looked like so much fun. And so I knew I had to have this to, to be able to play the game, I made this name up for my dog and I learned how to show her and I went to confirmation classes and I tried to do juniors um, and do 4-H. As things progressed, I would show her inches and sometimes I actually even got a ribbon, you know, and beat other dogs. But she was a fun dog and I learned that I really liked the sport. So after that, um, we ended up acquiring a carry blue, same kind of scenario was given to us, only this one was registered, but she still wasn't of great quality. So I still got to show her in, in fun matches. I would go best junior in fun matches and there'd be a huge amount of people, but my dogs just were not of quality and I didn't have the confidence to go any further. When I was in high school, my parents got separated. My, my dad in California sold our, my horse and he gave me some money and he said, hey, I want you to buy a dog. And so I wanted to get a collie. And my stepfather in Alaska said, no way. You were no way having a long haired, 
skinny nose dog that was going to be in the house and just bring in all the snow and dirt and wet and whatever. So there was a gal down the road that had this yellow dog that did a lot of retrieving. I didn't even know what it was, except it was fun to be around. And I'm like, well, can we get a golden retriever? And he's like, oh yeah, you can get a golden retriever. They're a hunting dog. And so that's how we took that money, got to the paper. He found this dog, brought it home. That's how I got a golden retriever. Now, because I'd been at these fun matches and Linda Reddington had these big, beautiful dogs with all this coat. And I had this dog with curly hair around the tail, four white feet, a white blaze down here. And we all know what kind of line it came from. So I would sit there and I'd put Brett's. And I'd sit there and I got a picture where I'm heat drying him, trying to get this hair straight. And the only way I could get it straight was by using a hair. And then I would take the Brett's off and it would wrap right back up. So that's how I got my very first golden. I probably didn't get a dog to show. We didn't get a dog to show until um, I got married and I had a place of my own because I was only allowed to have the one dog. Um, so my next golden I got when Mark and I got married um, was I got a dog from Linda Reddington because a ready gold dog because I wanted something that I could show. And as, as, as he grew up, I mean, he was a nice dog, but I could never quite get any points on him. And there were things about him that he could have had that were different. And when I went down to Washington to a big circuit and tried to put him against other dogs, um, I fell in love with a dog called tri -Valley's Doc Holiday, And he was being shown and I just, I loved him from the beginning. And from there, we talked to Carol Kwame and she had a breeding that was coming up and we asked for the male, a male out of that breeding. Um, and of course, that's where Rebel came from, which completely changed everything for me. Um, Rebel wasn't a dog that was really super coated. You know, he wasn't a fancy dog, but he had so many good qualities about him. And as he did end up winning the breed at the National in 1989, I would try very hard to make him look like the others out there. You know, I would bought this big blow dryer like this. I would take it down to Washington and I'd be blowing them and everybody would look at me and like, where'd that come from? Hence, then everybody started buying these big blow dryers. So eh, now we have big open coated dogs, right? <laughs> so, but that's basically how I got started. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. I will cut out the parts with pauses and where you're 